what's up so just got this piece in today was looking forward to this for a while pre-ordered this last year i was at work i got the notification that dhl dropped it off supposed to be signature required but there was nobody at my house and he slept on the doorstep so i was definitely worried all day at work came home uh, you know obviously it was there anyway enough of that so here it is Star Wars, you got the Disney logo on there, and uh, yeah, box came mint. Uh, got to my house in two days from Singapore, super fair shipping. Thank you, Muhammad. And uh, all right, so let's see what this guy's about. So, there it is Luke Skywalker, XM Studios. Usual, what XM does, picture of the uh, character, a little story on the side. Now this box is uh, pretty big. You know, it's thin, but it's wide. So, that's what we got on the inside. You know, XM packaging, obviously you never have to worry about uh, breakages. I don't wanna drink myself by saying that, but so far, so good with all the XM pieces I've gotten. You know, just to show you the uh, box. You know, nice, glossy metal corners. And this is kind of like the box design that Sideshow does with their stuff, with the uh, the way it looks. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, unpackage everything, set it up, and uh, show you guys what it looks like real quick. Alright, so just uh, hang out. Alright, so here we are set up, and uh, you know, gotta say right off the bat, XM did it again, knocked it out of the park. Amazing piece, everything fits perfect, strong magnets. No problems whatsoever. This piece came with 10 different parts. And as you can see uh, on the table there, it came with the assembly instructions, the book and everything, which is always a nice classy touch that XM does. So, and also it came out with, uh, as you can see right there, different uh, switch out weapons and switch out holsters. So, uh, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you that the base, about 12 inches wide, 14 inches long and the statue altogether stands at approximately 21 inches tall so let's get in I'll show you guys uh, what this piece is all about now onto the base as you can see battle hearth so it's got the snowy base and beautiful paint job and this piece comes off you see on the inside Everything's all finished, painted nice, and super strong magnets. Everything fits perfect. I mean, the paint on this is just, you know, it's amazing. It looks great. This piece also comes off. On the inside as well, it's all finished, nice. And once again, nice strong magnet. I mean the metal, I mean the, the paint job, I mean I can't say enough about it. You guys can see that. It's coming off well in the video. Boots done great. His lightsaber comes loose, it just hangs right there on that hook. I'll show you guys a close up of that. Very movie accurate. I 
as you can see how clean the lines are on the paint. No bleeding, no overspray. I mean, look at the whole stuff. I mean, that looks like legit real leather. Buttons on the pouches look like metal. Very clean paint. So on to the, uh, the switch out. So here you got the option to uh, display with a uh, pistol and a closed uh, holster. So you can switch it out with. Uh, so if you're gonna if you're gonna do the switch out, obviously you gotta take this off as well. And put, sorry, put that on, and then you put the switch out weapon on. Then you have them, the option to display them like that. Which is nice, nice attention to the detail on that. So, onto the portrait, which I'm sure everybody wants to know. Let's see, does it look like them? Does it not? You know, I think it looks great. I think it, you know. Definitely nails Luke Skywalker. Mark Hamill, 100%. That's my opinion. I'm sure people will disagree. But, I mean, come on. Definitely an awesome job on the portrait. And the chin strap is actually mixed media. That is a um, piece of cloth there. Elastic band. That's what I was looking for. So that's uh, pretty cool, actually. Great job on the helmet. I mean, that's it, guys. I mean, that's... This is the piece, 100%. I mean, I got no complaints at all. I love it. Like I said, I got this piece really quick from uh, Muhammad Sathik. If you guys don't know him in the community and you live in the U.S. like me and you're looking for XM pieces, trustworthy seller, complete gentleman. And uh, that's what I deal with for my XM pieces. There are other people as well, but I can vouch for him. And uh, like I said, the guy's a complete gentleman. I mean, he ships them out and you guys get them super quick. I got this piece from Singapore in less than two days. I live in New York, so. Definitely use them. Two more of the base. show you guys the portrait one more time I mean beautiful portrait great 
great job on that. If you guys want to know who the sculptor is, right here in the, uh, the book, I'm not going to try and uh, say his name, I'll end up butchering it, but there you go, there's the man himself. And this is just these assembly instructions. I'm sure you guys don't want to see that, but whatever. That's that. Alright guys, so uh, that's the piece. Thanks for watching. And uh, happy collecting. Take care.